Oh my goodness, it made it really difficult. Howdy, y'all. I know it's been a while. Ooh. We are going to go over the history of Israel by Stephanus, found in the book of Acts, chapter 7. And the reason why I bring this up is because Y'all need to know the truth and accept the truth. By, by now you should be aware of whom Jesus was talking about, their father versus his father not being the same father. All right? But they still believe. And many of them are not who they think they are. Anyways, um... We're going to get into a whole bunch of other information, if it's the Lord's will, regarding all this stuff, because you need to know the truth, all right? It's also known in scriptures, the synagogue of Satan. That should be a big, huge clue to everybody. Everybody, everybody. Anyways, let's get in, into it. We're in Acts, the book of Acts. You can see there at the top, Acts chapter 7. I'm thinking this goes down just a little bit more. It would work better. I'm trying to figure it out. Of course. Let's just do it this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then spake the chief priest, Is it even so? So let's backtrack real quick to um, chapter 6. Um, And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of priests were obedient to the faith. Stephen, full of faith, so Stephen, I don't know why I say Stephanus, sorry, Stephen, full of the faith and power, did great wonders and miracles uh, among the people. Then there arose certain of the synagogue which are called libertines and serenines Ser serenines serenines i think that's how it's what it's called serenines and alexandrians and Sicilians, yeah, Sicilians, and Asians, and uh, disputed, and disputed with Stephen, and they could not resist the wisdom, and the spirit with which spirit he spake. Then sent they, uh, then sent they in men which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses. And against God, and they moved the people and the seniors and the scribes, and they came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council and brought forth uh, false witnesses, which said, This man ceaseth not, ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. <laughs> Praise the Lord for Stephen. 
We heard him say, This Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the ordinances. Oh, that's better. Which Moses gave unto us. And all that it looks like sat in the council looked steadfastly on him and saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Then spake the chief priest, Is it even so? And he said, Ye men, brethren, and fathers, hearken to. The God of glory appeared unto our father Abraham, which, sorry, Abraham, while he was yet in Moses, oh, in, no, sorry, Mesopotamia, before he dwelt in in Charan and said unto him, Come out of the of thy country and from thy kindred and come into the land which I shall show unto thee. Then came he out of the land of Chaldeni and dwelt in Charan. And after that, ooh, I like this. And after that, as soon as his father was dead, he brought him into his land, wherein... He brought him into his land, wherein ye now dwell, and he gave him none inheritance in it. No, not one foot of ground, and promised that he would give it him give it to him and to his seed after him when as yet he had no child god verily verily spake on this wise thy seed shall be a dweller in a strange land and they shall put them in bondage and shall entreat them evil looks like 42 40, 42 years, 440, 1, 2, 3, 4, 400 years, and the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will judge, said God, and after that shall they come forth and serve me in this place, and gave him the testament of circumcision and he begat Isaac and circumcised him on the eighth day and Isaac begat Jacob and Jacob the twelve patriarchs And the patriarchs having indignation sold Joseph into Egypt and God was with him and delivered him out of all his adversities and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Pharaoh made him governor over Egypt and over all his household. Then came there a dearth over all Egypt and Canaan and great affliction and our fathers found no sustenance when Jacob heard that there was corn in Egypt. He sent our father fathers first and when he had sent them the second time, Joseph was known of his brethren and Joseph's kindred was made known unto Pharaoh. Then sent Joseph and caused his father to be brought and all his kin, threescore and twenty, fifteen, So 35 souls, 35, anyways, 
And Jacob descended into Egypt and died, both he and our fathers, and were translated into Sikkim. Sichem, 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 and were put in the sepulchre that Abraham brought for, bought for money of the sons of Emor at Sichem. Sichem, Sichem. Anyways, when the time of the promise drew nigh, which God had promised with an oath to Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Egypt till another king arose which knew not of Joseph. The same dealt subtly with our kindred and evil entreated our fathers and made them to cast away their children that they should not remain alive. The same time was Moses born and was a proper child in the sight of God, which was nourished up in his father's house three months. When he was cast out, Pharaoh's daughter took him up and nourished nourished him nourished him up for her own son and Moses was learned in all manner of wisdom the Egyptians and was mighty in deeds and in words when he was full 40 year old it came into his heart to visit his brethren the children of Israel And when he saw one of them suffer wrong, he defended him and avenged his quarrel that had the harm done to him and smote the Egyptian. For he supposed his brethren would have understood how that God by his hands should give them health, but they understood not. And the next day he showed himself unto them as they strove and would have set them atone again at one again saying uh, sirs are ye sirs ye are brethren why hurt ye one another but he that did his neighbor wrong thrust him away saying who made a ruler who made thee a ruler and a judge among us what wilt thou kill me as thou didst the Egyptian yesterday? Then fled Moses at the words and was a stranger in the land of Midian where he had began, where he had begat two sons. When, uh, I think that's 12, 11 years were expired. 40 years? No, 40 years. When 40 years were expired, yeah, that's what it looks like, um, there appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai the angel of the Lord in a flame of fire in a bush. When M Moses saw it, he wondered at the sight and drew near to behold it. And the voice of the Lord spake unto him, I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses trembled and durst not behold. Then said the Lord to him, Put off thy shoes from thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. I have perfectly seen the affliction of my people. Why? Which? People, which? Right. Which is in Egypt. Okay. So, I have perfectly seen the affliction of my people, which is in Egypt, and have 
heard their groaning and come down to deliver them. And now come and I will send thee into Egypt. The same Moses whom they forsook, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge? God sent both a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the bush. This man brought them out, showing wonders and signs in Egypt and in the reed in sorry reed sea and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness forty years. This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall your Lord God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall ye hear. This is he that was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel which spake him spake to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers. This man received the word of life to give unto us to whom our fathers would not obey, but cast it from them and in their hearts turned back again into Egypt, saying unto Aaron, Make us gods to Go before us, for we wot not what is become of this Moses that brought us out of the land of Egypt. And they made a calf in those days and offered sacrifice unto the image and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Then God turned himself and gave them up that they should worship the stars of the sky, as it is written in the book of the prophets. O ye of the house of Israel, have ye given unto me offerings or sacrifice? By the space of forty years in the wilderness, and ye took unto you The tabernacle of Moloch. (laughs) That's what it says. The tabernacle of Moloch. You see that? And the star of your God, Remphan. Remphan has that star of David. It's not the star of David. It's actually the star of Remphan. It's a lie, y'all. Anyways. Let me go back a little bit here. And you took unto... The, you took unto you the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will translate you, translate you beyond Babylon. Our fathers had the tabernacle of testimony in the wilderness as he had appointed them speaking unto Moses that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which the tabernacle our fathers received and brought it in with Oh, with um, Joseph into the possession of the Gentiles. Jesus, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into possession of the Gentiles. Why does that look weird? With Josu into the possession of the Gentiles. So that's supposed to be Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, which Gentiles, God drove out before the face of our fathers unto the time of David, which uh, 
found favor before God and desired that he might find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob and Solomon built him an house but he that is highest of all dwelt, dwelleth not in temples made with hands as saith the prophet heaven is my seat and earth is my footstool what house will ye build for me saith the Lord or what is my resting place hath not my hand made all these things ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised hearts and ears ye have always resisted against the Holy Ghost as your fathers did so do ye which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted that's a question which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted and they have slain them which showed before of the coming of that just whom ye have betrayed and murdered and ye also have received a law by the ordinance of angels and have not kept it when they heard these things their hearts clove asunder and they gnashed on him with their teeth he being full of the Holy Ghost looked up with his eyes unto heaven and saw the majesty of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said lo I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing stand on the right hand of God. Then they gave a shout with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him all at once and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses, witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet named Saul and they stoned Stephen calling on and saying Lord Jesus receive my spirit and he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice Lord impute not this sin unto them for they want not what they do and when he had thus spoken he fell asleep Excuse me. All right. So now you know why I brought that up. <clears throat> or you will now know why I brought that up. Let's start here. So I know a lot of people think I am telling lies when I'm actually telling the truth about the information that I share here on this channel. Um, couple small tidbits here and there because uh, I know that they go about claiming uh, anti-semitism against people when they're the ones who do it um, just because they can um, so here very clearly hear this very clearly they are the synagogue of satan as it is written and jesus will take care of them we don't take vengeance god's supposed to do it the evil will slay the wicked remember that There's another video on this channel about um, the attack on Jesus' name or the name of Jesus. Here, here's a little bit more information. If you know anything about the Talmud, it is the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which God also hates, okay? The doctrine of the Nicolaitans. This here, I looked at um, how the YHVH is in the Talmud.
We don't use that. You understand? Whatever's in the New Testament, because we are the new covenant, that is what we use. Abba Father and Jesus Christ. We don't touch anything from the Talmud. As a matter of fact, there's proof in the Talmud about Jesus in there. And I'm not talking about Yeshua. Because Yeshua is just as bad as the word is, as the word of Jesus. You'll see here in just a little bit. They mix it up on purpose so that the ignorant Christian is out there blaspheming the name of Jesus. Ignorant Christians are blaspheming the name of Jesus because they think they're following in some Hebrew roots movement baloney. Don't trust those Messianic Jews. Uh-uh. I'm telling you. A lot of them don't believe in Jesus, especially if they're doing things contrary to the New Testament. And you should know that based upon reading the Word and having a relationship with the Lord. That helps you to discern. I'm sorry I'm being very stern because I'm very upset. I had, I had some information taken down because of the truth I share. So it shows, I'm going to show you some truth about how Jesus is in the Talmud. Okay, there's one part where it says, What exactly is scandalous? How about Jesus punished in hell by Jewish priests for eternity by being made to sit in a cauldron of boiling excrement? It gets worse than that. And it's said different ways. All right. Read that. It says they must destroy... Jews must destroy Christianity in the New Testament. That's in their in their um, Talmud, the Sanhedrin, the Gid, in their their writings. In their writings, this is what they're taught. They say even the best of them. And one one reason why I am not attracted to any man with a bent down nose is because it looks so ungodly of that group of the ungodly group anyways so they they uh, they believe that jesus was supposed to have five deaths and this is in the talmud and you can see how it says jesus as stated in both the talmud and jewish encyclopedia gets four legal methods of execution and crucified as well as a blasphemer of pharisee judaism so you can read this stuff that's complete, utter lies. Complete, utter lies. And some of it, I, just, I, can't, I can't read it because it makes me so mad. It makes me so mad. It's disgusting and... and terrible please please read that look at that they're disgusting people with some awful god awful thoughts see there's the one about boiling hot excrement they say that he committed bestiality. They said that he was a womanizer. They said all sorts of things. And then here's the one that's a big kicker. Because, because they know that Jesus is the son of God. And they want to tell a lie about it to teach to other people. It says right here, Jesus' resurrection is cursed. Woe well, unto him who maketh himself alive by the name of God. So they know that he had the name of God. And he made himself alive. They know the truth. They know the truth. But they tell lies about it. They say, they say Mary was a whore. They called Jesus Balaam. Uh, 
And of course, there's, I don't know about some of this other stuff. Just, uh, distortion that references in the Talmud to Balaam are really veiled references to Jesus. Balaam is not a Talmudic code word for Jesus. Therefore, the passage above is referring solely to, to, to Balaam. By the way, this is in their news. This is on their news article. This was back in 2020. Here's proof right here in their writings. They blamed or they claim that Jesus practiced sorcery. And don't ever say oy vey, please. Seriously. Not even oy. I'm I'm absolutely disgusted. <laughs> absolutely disgusted. That's that's a disgusting um Well it, it's just a bad terminology. Let's just leave it at that. So don't say it. They say that Jesus was conceived adulterously in menstrual filth and that he was a bastard. I mean, how, how, how much more do you all need to see that the Jews do not support any Christian whatsoever? How much do you Christians who claim to be Christian and are not Christian and supporting all the wrong things, do you not see the truth written in the Bible? And here it is on the other end of the spectrum to show you the truth of how they see Christianity. And Jesus, down here, look at this. Look at this, down here it says, Jews routinely call Jesus Yeshu, a Jewish mockery of Jesus, actually Hebrew name Yeshua, whatever, which is baloney. Because Yeshua is a Hebrew acronym for may his name and memory be blotted out. That is not the Hebrew name for Jesus. Y'all are ignorant using that. Shame on you. Believe in all the lies just as bad as they make them. Those who love lies and believe lies get nothing but lies. And believe me, we all without Jesus Christ at one time believed lies, okay? But you can stop it. Turn back to Jesus. So there are numerous scur scurrilous, scatol scatological, blasphemous accusations against Jesus in the Talmud and rabbinical literature. Though the passages have been denied and expur expurgated, <laughs> the Talmud. Oh, that's an ugly wasp. Anyways. <laughs> Talmud editions have been published often using code words for Jesus. Princeton professor and director of Judaic studies, Peter Schaefer, has examined dozens of Talmud editions in the original and vernacular languages. Uh, Schaefer not only adduces the explicit references to Jesus of Nazareth, but he also traces the code words used in the Talmud editions expur expurgated and sanitized for Gentile consumption. Schaefer traces from addition to tra tractate to folio how Balaam, that man, the carpenter, Ben Pander, son of Pandera, the blank spaces, and the rest of the code words referred Jesus to Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> Jews variously pretend. Jews will variously pretend that these passages are about a different Jesus or are ancient and no longer taught. Oh, really? Okay. Look at this. 
It's Hebrew acronym, Yeshu and Yeshua and Yahweh and all that. May his name and memory be blotted out. That's what you're saying when you do that. Stop it. If you say you're Christian, you need to stop that. Again, a reminder at the top of Yeshua being a Hebrew acronym. For his, may his name and memory be blotted out. Look at that. It says it right there on their stone. They say, oh, we don't teach this. And then they go into this. Oh, you'll see this video in a little bit. If it's the Lord's will. So they, the Jews teach that Jesus was an idolater, a pervert, a mamzer, which is bas bastard, spawned adulteress in Nida, which is menstrual filth, and by a Roman soldier uh, named Pandera of a whore. And he is in hell boiling in feces and semen, which is disgusting. They boast of overcoming Roman objections. There, I actually had, there was a time I had a picture. I know it's somewhere on some of my other stuff somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Um, it shows all of the um, mentions of Jesus in the Talmud and how they blaspheme him horribly, horribly blaspheme him in the Talmud. So they boast of overcoming Roman objections to his Jude Judical murderer and lament that Jesus should have been strangled while immersed in dung. Um, yet Christian Zionists bless them. <laughs> Come on, don't, don't, don't. Oh my gosh. Genesis 12 3 does not bless synagogue of Satan. Lord Jesus, I don't bless the synagogue of Satan. No, no, no. And nobody on the other end of this should. Again, same thing. So you can see all the, the same things over and over again. Here, check this out. Now, this is all of the proof, scriptural proof that you need, that God insists that the Jews are hypocrites, liars, sorcerers, and idol worshipers. Look at this. Deuteronomy 31, 16, Joshua 23, 16, 1 Kings 1 Samuel 8, 8, 4 Kings, 2 Kings, which is uh, 16, verse 3, 4 Kings, which is 2 Kings 17, 6, uh, 2 Kings, I'll just say 2 Kings 17, 7, 2 Kings 17, 17, 7, uh, 2 Kings 21, 6, 2 Kings 21, 6, um, Parley Pominon. That's a new, anyways, 2 Chronicles 28, 3 through 4, 33 and 6, uh, Psalms 105 and 106, 36, Psalms uh, 105, 106, 37, uh, Isaiah 57, 5, Jeremiah 7, 31, Jeremiah 8, 7, I don't know why there's an FF, uh, Jeremiah's 32, 35, Jeremiah's 32, 35, Ezekiel 16, 20, Ezekiel 16, 21, Ezekiel 20, 23, Ezekiel 36, 16, FF, I don't know what the F is for, uh, Jeremiah's 44, 23, Hosea 4, 1 through 2, Hosea 11, 2, Amos 5, 26, John 8, 44, Matthew 23, 15, John 8, 44, again, Matthew 6, 2, 5, 15, 7, 22, 18, 23, 13, 14, 15, 23, 25, 27, 28, 29, Mark 7, 6, Luke 13, 15, Apocalypse 22, 16, John 8, 44, 5, and 55, Apocalypse 3, 9 and 22, 16. Uh, Titus 1, 13 through 14. Apocalypse 22, 16. Apocalypse, Apocalypse 2, 9 and 3, 9. Now, I haven't seen the Apocalypse one. I'm going to have to look into that one. Um, again, Synagogue of Satan written... As it is written in Genesis, it says, 
uh, blesses Abraham's spiritual lineage, as in Galatians 3, 28, 29, the church, 1 Peter 2, 9 through 10, and curses genocidal Zionist and Talmudic Jewish supremacists who blaspheme Jesus Christ as a bastard son of whore, saying he is in hell, boiling in feces and semen. And that's just so anger, Ang anger, angering, angering, <laughs> and so anger, <laughs> er. <laughs> It's not good. It's not good at all. <clears throat> so, on the flip side, who is human and who is not? This is what they consider us. Only Jews are human, as you see here on the side. You can see that. Only Jews are human is what they think. Gentiles are animals. Jews are entirely good. Gentile are entirely evil. That's what they believe. Kill even the best of the Gentiles. Concealment of Judaism, genocidal precept. Now, Jesus never taught us to go and kill them. No, he did not. And if you know who your, who your uh, not your neighbor, but your enemy is, you will realize it's them. There's a lot of Nephilim these days. A lot of Nephilim. And God's going to take care of it. <laughs> Excuse me. So, um, concealment of Judaism, genocidal precept, dom dom domination of the world by Israel. Quotes, so this is a true fact. Domination of the world by Israel. That's what it's being worked towards. Uh, quotes from the Jews, most recent Messiah. Histor most recent Messiah, I didn't stop and check that out yet. I need to. Historical Jew supremacy, ritual murder of Christian children. Now, there was a video I shared on TikTok that I was able to share a little bit of that information. The other one got taken down, unfortunately. Um, my account got banned temporarily because of that, too. Um, but I'm sharing the truth, and Lord willing, the truth gets out because y'all need to know the truth. You need to know the truth. You need to know the truth. We are supposed to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves. All right? And you need to know the truth so you know what you're standing against. See, let's go. Israel is target children and pregnant women. Mass murder of Gentiles at prayer. National hero, Dr. Baruch Goldstein. Don't save Gentiles. The misunderstood chief, whatever. I don't call anybody on this earth rabbi. Nobody on this earth is my rabbi, nor will I call them rabbi. As a matter of fact, um, Jesus is my only rabbi. He's our only rabbi. If he's your only rabbi, then you could you call him rabbi. Um, he's also our only high priest. They call us monkeys or animals, um, cattle. Do you see all this? Other contemporary manifestations, Chapad, the Kushners are in here. Look, rape is from the Jews. And I believe I'm going to show you a little tidbit as to that right here or no. Maybe I didn't take a picture of that like I did earlier. You got perversion from the Jews, um, perpetrators, not victims. So over here on the side, let's see if this is, you are called men, but not Jews, but non-Jews are not called men. So in tradition, Elijah, the prophet, and Phinehas, the grandson of Aaron, were one of the same person. Why then do you render yourselves ritually impure by standing in a cemetery? Priests are forbidden to contract the ritual impurity imparted by a corpse. A corpse is a prim primary source of ritual impurity and can transfer an impurity by physical contact. Um, Oh, I didn't catch that. So, only you, the members of the Jewish people, are called men, but non-Jews are 
uh, not called men. Disarming the Goyim. So this is Jews and gun control. They want to disarm us. You can see the stuff there on the side. Um, they actually have a leader at the head of NRA, the National Rifle Association. And yes, anybody who's not a Jew is a Goy, and anybody who thinks that they converted to Judaism is still not a Jew. Just know that. Don't sit there and think you're a Jew just because you converted. They don't allow that. Do your research. Don't sit there and follow the party line. It is your soul on the line. And thanks be to the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm able to share this. Stop it. I get you. So, you can read this for yourself. Um, they have unleashed all their economic weapons of mass destruction and media hegemony, censoring and demon, 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 demonizing gun videos on their internet, skewing reporting and banking gun businesses and funding massive Aggie agate agate prop and sympathetic politicians to disarm us gentiles to control us um you can check out some of these links yourself no they're cold dead hands um god says jews are liars look at this not his jews okay here here's the difference God has his own Jews, all right? And they are not the ones that worship Molech. They are not the ones who go in the idolatrous ways. As a matter of fact, God's people are believers of Jesus Christ, even in the old, just as the new. And we see in Hosea, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord shall enter into judgment with the inhabitants of the land, not God's people, the land, for there is no truth and there is no mercy and there is no knowledge of God in the land. Cursing and lying and killing and theft and adultery have overflowed and blood hath touched blood. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and he stood not in the truth, because truth is not in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father thereof. John 8, 44. So here's, here's something that they actually teach in Judaism, okay? In the Torah. Scholarship, including Torah scholarship, sexuality and hospitality, the Talmud, the Stein Salts Edition, Volume 2, Lying to Gentiles, Baba Kama. And you can hear them say Baba Kama at, um, in some of their uh, discussions about certain topics. They will actually um, tell you where they get their information, i.e. Baba Kama. They'll say Baba Kama or uh, Torah Scholarship or, you know what I mean, Hulin or uh, the Zohar or something like that. Anyway. Lying to keep out of trouble for peace. What? The only time... No, there is no only time. Well, there is an only time, but I ain't going to touch up on when that is. We do not tell lies. However, we don't have to tell everybody everything. Um, I'm not going to tell you that there's a lie that you can tell because I don't want you to be in that habit of doing so. Um... When everyone should know you are lying. They think that if they tell you what they're going to do, which is by the law of God, that they must do, that they're being honest, even if it's a lie. It's crazy. I... I 
I'm just baffled. So, <laughs> praise the Lord Jesus. Here on this, uh, un on the under part of the Zohar, I'm not going to say that first thing, but Yehuda said to him, uh, Chizkia, he is to be praised who is able to free himself from the enemies of Israel. And the just are much to be praised who get free from them and fight against them. How must we fight against them? By wise counsel shall war against them. By what kind of war? The kind of war that every son of man must fight against his enemies, which Jacob used against Esau <clears throat> by deceit and trickery whenever possible. They, they think they're supposed to fight without ceasing. <laughs> See, they got the... Look at these links here. You got Culture of Deceit, uh, Zion Criminal Network, Swindler's List. Um, Ellie Weasel. Communism is part of it. Lying about Jew, Judeo Bolshevism. Um, here's habitual lies and liars. You can pause and read that for yourself, please. Um, so, you are going to be confused whenever they say Torah. Because they have six different definitions for Torah. It's not right or left. It's right or wrong. Come on, y'all. God's Ten Commandments are objective in their minds. Um, and are subjective. Manipulating opinion. You can see that for yourself there. They have to vet critics and evidence. No criticism is allowed from unvetted sources. Uh, they have their own group of people on the internet just to do that. And then they claim anti-Semitism. Oi. Uh, uh, not oi. Uh, <laughs> just because I saw that word earlier. They weaponize money. Um, so, though the U.S. Constitution gives Congress the power to coin money, regulate the value thereof, um, Article 1, Subsection 8, the creation by a bribery in 1913 of the Jewish owned Federal Reserve handed. The power of money creation and virtually total control of the economy to Jewish dynastic looters like the Rothschilds and Warburgers, Warburger, Warburgs, sorry, who insisted and profited, profiteered from world wars and revolutions. So no cannard or libel, as the ADL say, asses bray. Julius Stryker was executed at Nuremberg solely for publishing such images and truths known for centuries. Look at this stuff here on the side. Of course, because they set up the credit system, they they, they caused a whole lot of issues. Look at that. The Fed was created 19, looks like 18, World War One, And then ever since that time, things have increased. Look at that. It just increases and increases.
And again, look at that stuff on the side where it says Romania, Bulgaria, North German Confederation, Germany. Um, that's a side note, side note. Uh, it's all over TikTok about how great life is in Kiev. Their nightclubs are hopping. We give them money. And they have a good time. It's all over TikTok. This right here, uh, that's a video I got. I don't know if it... You yeah. and your fucking Jesus, you kick my ass, okay? We kill Jesus, we talk. Sorry about the cussing, but you need to hear the truth. You and your fucking Jesus, you kick my ass, okay? We kill Jesus, we talk. Can you hear what he's saying? One more time. You and your fucking Jesus, you kick my ass, okay? We kill Jesus, we talk. So he admits that they know that they killed Jesus and they don't care. This one's mocking. Remember, they use that word Yeshu because it means to blot out and remove from memory. Look how sick this is. These people are sick. They mock him. Such mockery. The other tidbit of news was um, there was a train carrying hazardous materials that derailed on a bridge that collapsed in Yellowstone on a river. If you can, take some time to check that out or keep your eye on that. They're up to no good on that one, just the same. And I, I'm sorry that... Uh, I haven't been on here very much. There's a lot going on and I've been waiting patiently for the Harpazo and I still am waiting patiently for the Harpazo. Um, recently, the Schumann residence was doing this weird thing because it normally looks like this, but it did this weird thing you can see the difference between these two and it was like within an hour period or something like that a lot of people were affected by it and I don't think that was man man made or man done um, I think Japan is building an ark this is just garbage Delete. I had fraud charges Anyway, some small ones. Um, AI, they have an AI Jesus that they brought back out. It's got 40,000 followers. 
And um, they're trying to rewrite the Bible, by the way. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. I don't want that up there. There is some news floating around from a writer by the name of Emily Oster. I used to know an Oster. Man. <sighs> Listen to this nonsense. They say, let's declare a pandemic amnesty. We need to forgive one another for what we did and said when we were in the dark about the... <clears throat> Come on, really? After every person that passed away and after everything that they believed and perpetrated on others in maliciousness they want amnesty they don't want to say well we were wrong we're sorry please forgive us no they want amnesty bunch of garbage I've already read Philippians in regards to that. Um, Psalm 36. Oh, this right here. No, I would totally move this up. This is some truth you need to see. Check this out. Right off the side, you see that? Does that look like an airplane? If you have a chance to scrub that on your screen, go ahead and scrub it. And look, look what it says at the top. You need to see this. I had to sneak this one in. I can't just let it be all by itself somewhere. And then just for the joy of it, because we're at the end. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. Trouble knocking down my door today. I ain't gonna let it in. And worry wanna steal my joy away. I ain't gonna let it win. Cause on my best day, I'm a child of God. On my worst day, I'm a child of God. Oh, every day is a good day. And you're the reason why. Ciao.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. All right. Thank you so much for being here. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you and keep you in his face to shine upon you. If it be his will. And I hope this has helped you today. And, and I'm sorry if it seemed a little bit on the stern, but I'm a little upset with a lot of the so-called Christians following after the very things that they're not supposed to follow after. We were told many times for generations to stay away from them. And that's what we need to do. All right. Again, hope y'all have a good night.